Can you get three-star rating on your island without crafting? I have literally no idea, but we're going to find out together. And like every good challenge, we need to start with a restart. Let's go. The whole idea with this gameplay is it's meant to be a challenge. So I'm going to try and use treasure islands and my friends as little as possible to try and get some of the magic back in Animal Crossing. First thing we needed to do was pick an island layout. That one's the trap. It's not perfectly lined up. This one is it. No take backsies. And admire the absolute bop that is the starting music. And now time to reveal the starting villagers. Not Rocket. Oh. Oh. The game literally gave us the butthole monkey and one of the worst lines in existence. Ro why Rocket? Why Rocket? Next up was placing the houses and all I knew is I wanted to be as far away from Rocket as humanly possible. Oh, I can't deal with Rocket's face. Oh. I also needed to make sure I didn't destroy any rocks when I placed the houses just in case they respawn somewhere I couldn't get to. Next up was fetching the fruit and the trees for Tom Nook. No idea why the old codger couldn't just get up and do it himself, but I guess there's nothing wrong with helping out the elderly every now and again. We got a good night's sleep and then we faced our first real problem on the island, the DIY workshop. I have in fact done this gameplay once before and I failed at this exact spot. Oh no! It turns out once you ask about the DIY workshop, Tom Nook will never let it go, which is really surprising since this costs zero bells to do and normally Tom Nook cares only about money. So the plan is to just never ask him about it. We're going to get the 5,000 Nook Miles and upgrade our house and see if he finally lets it go. So the next challenge was getting 5,000 Nook Miles without crafting. After coming to terms with the fact that I might have to raise 5,000 Nook Mile points with no tools, I suddenly remembered you can just buy tools. Wait, hold on. Wait, have I small brain this? Hold on, hold on. Does Timmy have tools? <gasps> Timmy has tools! And suddenly getting 5,000 Nook Miles didn't seem so bad. Uh, this is when we encountered our first big problem. Despite being able to catch both the fish and the bugs, we were unable to hand them into Tom Nook. No! Which in turn means that we'll never get the Critopedia, and more importantly, we'll never get Blathers. And although I absolutely hate how much the man talks, he might be vital for the later game. So I quickly worked my way through the 5,000 Nook Miles and I even spoke to my villagers to do it. Oh, Rocket's tent is just as depressing as Rocket's face. But it was all worth it because Tom Nook actually accepted the 5,000 Nook Miles. So we committed a small time crime, traveled to the next day and saw what Tom Nook had in store for us then. Which weirdly enough involved a double announcement, which I have never seen before. Did we just go through this again? We just did this, right? Not only was our house built, we also unlocked the cutscene for the shop, which means that despite the fact that we haven't done any DIYs, we can build the shop. Shut up. Which as you can see, surprised me just a little bit. I can get the shop. I can get the shop. This means gathering 30 of every wood, 30 iron, all without crafting and without the ability to buy a shovel or an axe from the nooks. So this is where things get really interesting. But don't worry, I have a plan. The only thing I can think of is I might speak to one of my villagers because sometimes they give you presents. Rory was absolutely useless as always. Please be a shovel. Not a shovel. I'll take the iron though. So I was relying on Rocket to save the day. Give me a shovel. Oh! <gasps> All we had left to get was the axe, and that was all on Wilbur. The whole success kind of rides on me being able to buy the tools from this Nomad Ticket Island, okay? Come on, come on, I need an axe. Yes! 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 All that was left to do was to get the wooden iron from the Nomad Ticket Islands and buy an axe and a shovel whenever they broke. Oh, oh, 
We just had to hand all the items in and place the shop down and then we can figure out if I finally outsmarted Nintendo. I was fairly certain Nook's Cranny would be able to open. However, I had no idea if we'd be allowed to do the next step, which is starting to move the villagers in. To know if we even stood a chance of this happening, Tom Nook needed to take a phone call mid-announcement. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We actually unlocked this cutscene! Although we did in fact have Nook's Cranny, I still couldn't buy an axe or a shovel. Shut up! You still can't get it! It was then time to see if we could actually invite villagers to our island. Without three new villagers, we won't actually be able to upgrade resident services, which means no Isabel, which means no three stars. Oh, he's talking to me about this. Move-in date. Okay, okay, this is a moment of truth. Gonna need some instructions. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see. Whatever Tom Nook said next, determine the fate of this whole challenge. Ready to help me prepare? No! No! I'm officially stuck. If any of you who have any ideas about Animal Crossing have any idea about any bugs or anything that will let me carry on, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching this far. If you haven't already, please go check out my Twitch where I play Animal Crossing on there as well. I'm currently building a zoo in Animal Crossing. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.